Incredibles 3 is confirmed. And now I'm not just speaking out of my backside here. It's real. I mean, this is the logo right here. And strangely, I'm not mad about this at all because I feel like Incredibles is like one of those franchises where you can make a sequel and there's still a lot of things to talk about. So it's not one of those things like Toy Story 5 where I instantly hear about it and I get very, very mad. But no, Incredibles 3, I'm intrigued. Apparently Brad Bird is writing and directing once again. So, you know, hopefully he does a much better job than Incredibles 2 because that movie basically felt like Disney giving him like the script. It's not like him writing this thing. But anyways, let's go over the rest of uh, the announcement uh, from Pixar at D23. Let's first talk about this new original movie. I said in my YouTube short that uh, they're gonna focus on announcing a new original movie. Well, we have the name for it now. It's called The Hoppers. And judging by the concept art... Yeah, this is still better than Cars 4. Next up, we actually have a bit of a premise for Toy Story 5. Apparently, it's gonna be a thing where, uh, oh, kids like uh, their, 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 their phones and tablets more than their toys. It was only a matter of time until Toy Story did this, uh, did this plot, so I'm not very angry about it. But uh, the, my, just my main concern is, in the concept art they show here, Woody is there. And, and, and the kid holding the, the tablet clearly is Bonnie, so I don't know how they got Woody back, and strangely enough, Bo Peep isn't there. So that's something they're definitely gonna have to address in like one of the trailers before like the movie itself, because yeah, this could very well be the worst received Toy Story movie if they don't address this, which they need to, and they have to make it like clever enough. Next up, we have this new original series called Win or Lose that comes out near the end of this year. And we actually have Dream Productions, which is a mockumentary style series from the world of Inside Out, as they call it. And judging by this art over here, it does look really cool. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely willing to check it out. And that's like all the major stuff from D23, from Pixar. I mean, going back to Incredibles 3, that's like, like monstrous news, like, I can't wait to watch that movie and review it here. And I just hope that Brad Bird like actually like evolves the 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 story of the universe uh, of the Incredibles universe. Like I highly recommend checking out the Unlucky Tugs Incredibles saga video. It's a fantastic video. He like he mainly covers like what he wants to see in the Incredibles saga going forward. And it's something that should really be considered for the next movie. So if I were Brad Bird, I'd watch that video because there's a lot of good uh, ideas thrown in there. But with that being said, let's pray to God that Incredibles 3 turns out to be better than Incredibles 2. And actually just add, like as good of a sequel as Inside Out 2. Because if Pixar are able to make their sequels like good sequels, then maybe they have a bit of a justification for making these sequels. But not every year though. Definitely not every year. <laughs> Alright guys, take care. Peace.